sometimes life force enemies when you be shining in your light make sure you do it right stand firm stay rooted let your spinal fluid to go right to your first eye decalcify my third eye once again i'm right here chlorophyll up in the water i'm right here staying rooted standing firm giving thanks i watch and learn so right here <clears throat> just burning some frankincense some copal yellow copal from mexico what is that uh first and foremost it's just a it just sets the frequency all your senses are interacted with it allows you to i guess be more focused yeah that's just to open up and uh bring everything to a balanced state what's up this is disco and this is our series art talk we're going to be interviewing photographers sculptors painters even ceramicists Thanks for tuning in. This is Art Talk with Disco. This is Disco. Welcome to the Disco Show. I'm your host, Disco. Today, we're chilling with Malcolm Emilio. I've been lucky enough to walk by his shop a couple times and been blown away by the work. It's like his art make noise. My God, how are you feeling today? Grateful, yeah, light, real light today. Thanks for having me, you know? Let's just start with, with the art. Like, what, what got yeah. you in the art? I was born in Toronto. Um, my mother's from Chile, South America. My father's from Barbados in the Caribbean, you know? Mm. And that's where a lot of the inspo for my colors or patterns or textures or just some um, indigenous influence. That sacred, <laughs> what's been preserved energy. Really just painting from a a real internal space of wanting to preserve the things I felt as I was young, you know, just growing up. So, you have a store. <laughs> yeah, we do. Almighty Gallery. Tell me about the gallery space, uh, mm -hmm. how you guys got started, uh, sure. what does it represent? Man, Almighty has manifested through the power of right now, you know, the power of being present with, once again, your intuition. I got my good brother Raymond, who's, um, he's an all-around visionary, you know, he does ceramics, he does a lot of film production stuff. My brother Courtney, he had a skate shop around the corner called Almighty, had it for about five years. So I asked both of them to connect, you know, and we ended up connecting right across the street, and boom, we hear a concept shop, skateboarding, like just out all around gathering space, like I said, for the running group and ceramic workshops and stuff like that and content creation space. You know, Raymond shoots a lot of cool stuff up in here with his photo and video. And then I'm just doing the creative direction, having the art on the walls. So it really just manifested itself into the almighty gallery, uh, a physical space in a digital time. What, what keeps you motivated to continue to work, put in the work? And, you know, there's been moments where, like I said, I, I've walked by and I've, you know, been on my way home at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and I will see you in here and getting it, getting to it, man. <laughs> like, I got two answers for that. The first answer is the one I be saying all the time right now. It's the wife and the baby, of course. Yeah, right, that's like right, the main right. motivation right away. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then after that would be that um, y'all yeah, committed to this. A long time ago, you know, I surrendered to to the unknown of what my spirit was telling me to do. It's, it started when I was like 17, you know, right. 17. If you asked me what I'm doing or what, I was like, yo, I'm a famous painter. I'm a prolific painter. It's like, oh, where, where can I see art? Like, I got some at my house and my garage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, I was just so confident in that. And then through the through the journey it's it's just been that because i've spoken that vibrationally into my reality and man i just and what made it easier for me to do that is i got kicked out of school when i was 15. yeah i was at the adult school actually and one of the teachers like she saw the paint on the pants and she's like what's, what's what you doing and i was like i'm getting it at the house like that's what i want to go do i'm like i'm only coming here so i can get this and show the mom something and you know right. show the family a little something you know <laughs> look I'm what like, i'm doing yeah. i really want to go paint and she just like send me a photo of your paintings and low-key like i sent her a photo and she bought like my first art and she was just like 
yo, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And I didn't know this lady from nowhere. This is a lady teaching some adults at an adult school. You know what I'm saying? Like, little did she know that she done, like, she made me know that that was a thing. Shout out to that teacher. Word. Shout out yeah. to her. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to art, most people will steer you away from it. So for somebody to see the talent in you and not only encourage you, mm -hmm. but to physically buy something for you to show you that it is possible, man, that's, that, that gotta be like, that had to like completely boost your, your career from that, that moment That boosted on. it, you know, but it also, that was like the most pivotal moment that changed my whole life though, because the thought of like that lady buying the, the work, was like now like you could paint this for someone else like i was painting for my mom right you know so yeah damn that's deep <laughs> my bad that's it no nah, man that it is that man at the end of the day yeah, that's bro so real. like i never even thought about that shit. <laughs> yeah you know just give me a second you got it brother yeah, what's up? all right let's get it from the top like I had never processed what we just talked about, the, like the fact of like how my art changed. I've always just thought this, con I'm 30, 34, I've always just thought this concept, I was like, yeah, like when she bought the paintings, I knew I could sell my work. But I didn't think to the depth of like, my whole work changed, like the way, because now I was like, even though I'm still painting intuitively, in my head, there's like, oh, someone's going to buy this. This is right. going to be in someone else's house, not mom's house. To then think that, like, the things that I was writing could be in another family's bubble. Or the things that I was doing mm. could, like, make another family feel like that, you know? And I, that, that changed the whole, my whole creative power, I guess. And I, or change it evolved it. It evolved it because then it just showed me now okay, like, this isn't just for you. Like, this is about to be something that's for the world. You know what I'm saying? And that's, I didn't know I could have something for the world. Those realizations were pivotal in my career, for sure. Well, I would love to hear your, your thoughts on this. How do you feel uh, in terms of, like, what Instagram did to art? Po and, and posting on Instagram versus the physical thing. It's depending on how much value you're giving it, right? A lot of people, when they saw, when they see my art, the first thing they say is like, yo, I do that when I doodle. Oh, when I'm just journaling or in my journals or when I used to just kind of when I'm bored, I, I do these designs that you do. And I was like, all right, have you explored that? Have you given that value? Have you put a story behind that? Because that's the only difference between what's happening online and in real time. Is in real time, things have like those that have a story, they have exploration, they have depth to them. Online, it's just that. It's just the surface experience, you know what I'm saying? So that's really how I, how I receive that, ex that expression. It's like often, yeah, when I would be putting things out, it's like only certain people can receive it depending on where they're at in their journey. Because when you see something on your phone, it's very easy to be like, oh yeah, I can relate to that. Or right. a, you see a style, and right. you're like, oh, that style, like, I can relate to that style. But the root word is life. The word is lifestyle. But on, uh. the, on the, in the Instagram, you're getting the style, but you don't know the life that comes with that style. Right. So as an aesthetic, you can connect with it, but energetically, you can't. I think that's the difference between what social media has done to artists, is like, it's giving you a connection aesthetically, but it lacks an energetic connection. And, and you to know. you, how important is, like, that energy part? It's the most important, and I think that's what, I guess, referencing, like, the physical space in a digital time. Because it's, like, in real time, the energetic feeling is going to be here, and it'll be more than an aesthetic. And I right. think that's, like, as your job as an artist. In this time, to stay relevant, you have to be able to be aesthetic and energetic right you can't just be one or the other you know you can't just be digital or analog it's like right. one or the other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> does that resonate i had to pull that one from the ethers but like nah yeah, it does man i'm you? telling you like that's how it is for me right now again i got thousands of photos i maybe post like you know a couple you know time to time but for me it's all about 
creating that story of, of it and actually having the right ones line up in the physical forms to, to create that story. The you know what I mean? or something like that or put out some kind of like project behind it. Something right. that can still compile your artistry and express it some way. Right. Because the digital time, like you said, have thousands of photos and all, it'll make you, because you have it there digitally, you won't do anything with it physically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it's there. <laughs> Once again, aesthetically, you know, you can look through it. It's, oh, my God, like, this, yeah. is, this is the most fire <laughs> aesthetics ever, you know? But then, like, to take that same aesthetic, to create a print out of it and pr hang it on the canvas, it's like, now it's now it's, it's an aesthetic piece in a space, but also has an energetic interaction with it because it's physical, it's tangible. Right. You know, so I think, uh, yeah, that's, once again, the job of artists is to to not just live on one side of that and to be able to, you know, take from from all your creative power and choose what it is you want to make relevant to um to your story hey bro it's like somebody need that yo that's food for someone just know that there's a lot of people out here and we hungry for something real and creative expression is is the realest food for the world right now you know Word. i'm just kind of getting into into that space myself uh because i used to be first i felt like i didn't have nothing to offer and then I started to feel like, who cares? You know, post. Why not? Do you Twitter? Nah, See, nah. Yeah, I ain't even. <laughs> yeah. So listen, man. The social. I'm. I'm not the social guy. I'm this, bro. I love. I like to. I like to meet people, face to face, and and talk. Again, even this. This is a. This is a new endeavor for me. Like yeah. I, you know, I, I yeah. usually just do this. Just yeah. you know, yeah. I just pop up on you and talk to you for hours. And I. I feel like this is the time for me to put some healthy food out in, in that in that world man again man you guys feed me yeah. so so i feel like it's only right to to share that you know mm -hmm. with people so that's kind of that's kind of where i'm at now it's a blessing sitting down with you bro it's a blessing to thank you for be in your presence and just hear your story and and where you where you come from man uh thank i'm gonna love seeing you just you know from whether it's up close and personal bro yeah, or from the yeah. sideline man no, just, i got you for just real. cheer you on man so no, appreciate you again yeah, brother no, i'm grateful for man, that, man love bro I want to I want to say a piece too about you man to just you know from the moment you passed through and just the connections like I've met a whole bunch of cool people coming through since I've been activated the space but you know I definitely remember you you know what I'm saying I just remember it just just yo big bro energy just came through and just like you're really affirming and you know you just you hailed me up you saw me you know and I just I just we always need those affirmations so you know you asking me to do this real in alignment so just you know all the steps that you take it on your journey that brought you here to this present moment appreciate you for that too you know man that's a blessing man for yeah, real for sure yeah well there you all go right. man this is uh this is the disco show i don't have a true yeah. sign out yet so we'll 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 do one man but let's get it yeah. <laughs>